Oh, uh, g'day folks. Out in my shed trying to watch some TV. And the, and the reception's gone really David crap. So I better go up and have a look and see what's going on on the roof. Oh, back with you again, viewers. Looks like I've got problems with hawks on the roof. of messed up reception on the TV antenna, so there's a job to fix that one up later. But anyway, I was going to show you this old street light head I've been playing with. This one is an 18 watt low pressure sodium. And the cover is here. The gas discharge street lamps are getting very hard to find. They're slowly being phased out and being replaced with modern LED units. So these old lamps will be a thing of the past. So we'll have a look at it. Photoelectric cell for turning the light on at dusk. The ballast is under the cover and the low pressure sodium tube. This particular one has many hours on it. It's quite burnt out but it still works so I'll turn it on in a sec. And I've got a brand new replacement, so here it is, it's a Philips 18 watt. Right, I'll go and turn it on and we'll have a look at it. Well, this has been running for about oh, half an hour, I guess. So it's pretty well up to temperature. But as this lamp is uh, pretty worn out, it's certainly far from its normal intensity. I'll set the camera up and just do some close-ups of the cathodes when it's energising and we'll just look at the power consumption yeah it's pretty well next to nothing these gas discharge lamps are very efficient
here's a selection of different sodium lamps. This is the 18 watt one, this is a brand new one I've got out of the box. Compare it to the one I had up in the head. You can see how the arc tubes in the used one are uh, quite darkened. This is a very early uh, sodium lamp. It has a detachable uh, vacuum tube around the arc tube. So this would be one of the very earliest ones they made. And you can see the ceiling tip on top. Here's a larger one of us, very similar vintage. I think it's about a 55 watt or tube. Thirty five watt high pressure sodium. and another high pressure sodium with a twin arc tube. If one tube were to go out then the other one automatically strikes up. It's sort of in case of a power failure or something so you don't have to wait for the tubes to sort of cool down and re-strike. So just for the fire up the old tube. 